Welcome to episode 11 of the Grizzly Cave. This is my bike here. I'm trying to fix the winch cable. Or not cable, winch itself. Find new solenoid. My solenoid was not the problem. So then uh, we got the hookup from Atlantic Rec for a winch switch. Thank you, Mayo. John's bike. I don't know what's wrong with his, but something is. I don't know. You guys already seen this bike two times now. So our customer John's uh, bike. You seen the lovely Grizzly Cave or Grizzly uh, Racket, sorry. But now he's getting snorkels, which is in the house. I need to go get them. So we got the N2 Deep snorkels and the Rocks Riser combo kit for 2020 Grizzly. He really, uh, I love this. Tony says, "Here's my bike. Build it." <laughs> How many kilometers is on his bike now? He has 131 hours on this bike. That's not a lot. There is a lot on John's. On my bike, there's only 216 hours, but has only 3,000 kilometers. That's saying something. John's bike is a little different. John uses his a lot more apparently. I need a key. John's like quadruple. No, but he was running track, so it's a little bit off. That's the only thing about tracks, it racks up your kilometers when you're not actually going those kilometers. Johnny Boy is 6,866 kilometers. I'm not sure how you see his, uh, okay, there you go. 412, so it's, it's double mine, basically. A lot of that's from um, out central. He's on his tracks, I'd say. But yeah, I'm actually surprised how many hours he got on his Grizzly already, which is great. I kind of feel bad because like, I only got 200 hours of mine. Makes me feel like I don't use her enough or something. Guess I need to use her more. Anyways, last night, um, I scrapped her, cut some plastics. Now I'm gonna go cut some more plastics. I uh, cut the centerpiece, uh, only one side though, right here. It's a good thing I found a really cool guide on YouTube how to do all this. I don't know who made it or anything. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for John to come and bring coffee, I guess. He says he got something to tell you guys. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of nervous. The mud of the mills. Pulled through. Got a copy. And about three seconds since he was here, he got one phone call. Uh, I'm guessing today he will get at least 12 while we're here. Probably can't see him because of the sun. John always gets phone calls. Uh, his phone doesn't stop ringing. He should get a business phone. Actually, he has a business phone that he doesn't use. Hat. I know, that's what I've seen. Try our construction. If you're in loose water surrounding areas and you need any work done, ask them. <laughs> there you go. All right. The other day, we're going to do a job, all right? Dan shows up with one coffee. One. By himself. Knows I was there. Now, that's not very good, but I looked past that and I got him a breakfast sandwich this morning. <laughs> so, see this grizzly right here? First one Dan got this thing, okay? She was bone stock, obviously. Nothing on her. So he decides, let's go for a burn out your way, central Newfoundland. So I'm like, okay, let's go. Packs the bikes up, we goes out. Dan gets out there, and then he got a low tire, all right? So my father hauls off the thing, hands it to him, hands him the tire valve and the gauge. He's like, here you go. You know what Dan's response was? What do I do with this? Didn't know how to use tar gauge. So now here we are, three years later, two years actually, I might add. Two, three, one of it, anyways. Three. So Dan goes, I'm gonna go ahead and shed tonight. I'm gonna start scrapping the bike. So, you know, we'll have half of it done tomorrow. So buddy goes, balls to the wall, out here in the shed, scraps the bike down, cuts the holes, cuts the plastic that we need to cut, marks out the other spot, got the boxes on the go, like holy shit, have this man ever evolved into something I've never seen coming. It's all good though, I'm proud of him. Dad's proud. <laughs> and my dad's proud. <laughs> oh yeah. Hope so. So we're two hours into it. Number two. Call, you call, Chelsea call, Number four. You... It's gonna be 12, boys. It's gonna be 12. BIM! <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we're gonna put these like this and have the bar like that there so it's more like a crotch rocket grizzly instead of a, a um, standard one like us, you know? Yes. Like that. 
Do you know what we're doing? Because I don't. We have to go appreciate something. All you people calling this a 90, you can do whatever you feel you want to do. But look, no more 90cc bullshit comments from you peanut gallery spectators. No, I'm just joking. You guys are all awesome. But seriously, I get the 90 thing. I hated it. But here we are, back in black and silver. Fast. So guys, uh, clearly cyberbullying works. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Uh, don't cyberbully, but only if it's John or me. This is number five phone call. Five today, boys. Five. Get the other stuff. Number six, boys. Number six done. <laughs> Riser's done. Number seven on the way out. Seven phone calls. What time is it? 12 o'clock. So he got here about 9.30. So two and a half hours. Got seven phone calls. Unreal. So like uh, number eight or seven phone hey, call hey, he's what on. What are you doing? Yeah, spray it out, spray it out. It's like 10 or something now. He's out there again on the phone, boys. Anyways, she is looking pretty good. We just uh, trimmed up these holes a little tiny bit more so it's a nice fit, so he won't have to self tap the ends, ends of it anymore. Um, it's almost done. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, about 900 uh, and too deep snorkel install, so it's going by pretty fast. Snorkel's done now so far. I almost had the snorkels done. 11. 12? I don't know. 10? 12? I don't know. She's done, boys. 30 phone calls later. She's done. So, uh, all he needs now is a tuner. Uh, <laughs> he needs a tuner. He has good products, so that yeah, he does. He needs a tuner and um, rocks with pegs. Probably some other stuff when we think about it and message him. Look how messy the cave is. Rolled up. She is rolled up. We're gonna clean her up. John's gonna come pick up his bike. And that's about it. The message yeah when it's cleaned or filmed again. Done! Clean! 10 second tidy. That's the video of John's phone calls, guys. Uh, <laughs> we also did. Man, got things to take care of. Yeah. All the stock stuff. I still need my motorcycle on the go. It's taking me a really long time to finish it. But I just need to put the single lights on and back brake and the license plate, and it should be good to go. But run out of GoPro battery, and she's a little bit windy in here. So, I'm gonna tell you guys to like, comment, subscribe down below in the cave. John, anything to say, buddy? Hopefully, catch you on the next one. Hopefully. We'll see you next one, guys. Peace out. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Muddy Mills, and Afro Dev.